Hello everyone and welcome along. So every year I design a brand new Christmas card. I send these out to my beautiful customers and my family and friends. This year I decided on painting this stag in a snowstorm. Absolutely glorious image. So with it being in a snowstorm, I, I realised I had to create like a darker background so that the white had somewhere to sort of sit and pop, which is why I've covered the whole lot uh, in this dark greenish colour. I mean, I know it's going to dry a little bit lighter, um, but it, the white needs something to, to sit upon. You'll see later. Now as I move along uh, painting this stag, it does start to appear like some kind of monster or something from a Dr Seuss book um, and I realise that I haven't drawn it quite accurately enough. So I do eventually get there but you can see my workings out and how my brain is working. So before I add any detail at all, I want to cover the full stag in this underpainting. This underpainting gives me a lot of information about um, the form and the shape of the stag. From there I can work out you know, where the highlights and lowlights need to be. It's at this point that I realised that something is not quite right. I think his head looks a little bit like a seal. So I forget the stag for a, a little while and decide to just work on the background. So what I'm doing here is just adding texture um, to the background and um, just using rough, sh rough strokes um, and the colour palette is really basic. begin to build a bit of texture up with the, the white which is the snow in the foreground just to have my brushes sort of wiggle along and create these like organic shapes. So now I start to tackle his head, which he looks a little bit drunk at this point, and it, it does get worse before it gets better. <laughs> I'm 
The reason why I work around it and not directly towards it, I kind of give myself time to think and consider and I look at it again with fresh eyes before I start to sort of add marks because you can just carry on forever just digging away at it but unless you look objectively at it then you're never going to see your problem. So I use a little bit of the background colour to try and um, create a better shape for his head. And then I realised that it's not high enough either, so I higher up his head, his forehead. And then slowly but surely he starts to look, look a little bit like a, a stag. And adding this, this dark, really dark brown under his under his under his belly helps the whiteness pop more because it's a high darker contrast against it. And now for the fun part. I cannot lie, I did enjoy this. And it hid a multitude of sins. <laughs> there we go, all finished. Thanks for watching.